So what is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Another outfit video for the summer. I'm gonna be doing this video just slightly different. Got this idea from Kyron. He did a video where he kind of just on the spot changed the fits and talked about them there. And I thought uh, since I don't really have any filmers and stuff like that, it's easy for me to do a video in that way. So shout out Kyron, thanks for the idea. But basically today I'm just gonna be putting on some outfits and explaining them just a little bit. The outfits are gonna be more um, daily type of wear. That's probably why this video is titled something like what I'm wearing during the summer. I'll do uh, different kind of outfit videos in the future, but at the moment, since the weathers are pretty hot around here and what I've heard basically around the world as well, so what better time to do a more casual summer outfit video than now. So that's exactly why I'm doing it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do fashion videos and vlogs and shit like that. So if you're interested, stay tuned, man. At this point, I can say I'm posting a lot of outfit pictures on my Instagram. So you might consider checking that out as well. I'm going to be posting a lot more there as well and different outfits all the time. So I promise you won't get bored. Anyways, a little about the outfits. Uh, during the summer, I think it's good to have some kind of core pieces or at least like, you know, a good pair of shorts, a good pair of jeans, some cargos, uh, maybe some lighter trousers, like, you know, linen viscose silk material or, you know, like on please pleats trousers. Something with a flowy texture looks very nice during the summer, but I think if you just have some good core pieces, you can kind of build the outfits around the pieces, if that makes any sense. I'll demonstrate that in my own way. You guys will see what I mean, but you know, just adding some pieces to make it look a bit different, to give a different kind of vibe, whatever. I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's just get straight into the video. And we're gonna start off with uh, this outfit I'm wearing right now, uh, but I'm gonna quickly switch the camera angle. So here's the first outfit. I'm gonna be holding this microphone. So uh, don't mind my hand too much, but I just thought it'll be a little better audio quality if I do it this way. But uh, what I'm wearing, undercover t-shirt, slightly oversized, gives a chill vibe. Acne Studios jeans, uh, bought these off the archive sale for probably like 70 euros, something like stupid cheap. ASAP NAS Reeboks and uh, socks to match. This is like a super chill summer outfit. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing uh, the Brock eyewear sunglasses and my Nike Matthew M. Williams hat. But basically this could be a core outfit, like you know, just something simple, jeans and a t-shirt. But then if you wanna add some things, you can kind of spice it up a bit. I'll just quickly show something you can do to uh, kind of spice this outfit up a bit more. So first accessory I love to use, especially with these shoes, is uh, this Rick Owens tote bag. The brown in the bag just matches the, the brown tone on the shoes perfectly. And it's just a little bag to add a little detail, something you can use daily and looks good. Now I'll show you something else. So if it's getting a bit chilly outside, you want to throw something long on. I'm wearing this Isimiyaki on please pleats blazer. Just the flowy vibe of the blazer makes it kind of look like a cardigan in my opinion, but you can wear it as a blazer. That's why I really love this piece. It's super versatile. But with this kind of casual outfit, makes it look more put together in my opinion. Adds a cool touch to the outfit and you can go more casual if you want to wear like a flannel. Actually, I'll just show you guys. So here it is with a flannel. Uh, stays more chill and kind of low key with the flannel and just the easy outfit you could wear on the daily basis. And now that I put this flannel on, it opens more options to switch the headwear and different accessories since the color scheme kind of changes. And I'll show you this outfit with a different hat. 
So now the hat's switched and I threw a bandana on just to add a different accessory to the outfit. But as you can see, if you just switch some pieces around, it can uh, make the outfit look really different. And like I said, during the summer, having core pieces and kind of core outfits, it's really easy to kind of start building around that. And I could keep on doing versions of this outfit. Like, you know, I could take this bandana off like that, throw the bandana on my head, makes it look different, slightly maybe more, more unique in a way. I'd wear it like this personally. I think we can just go on to the next outfit. I think this worked as a good example of how to kind of switch some pieces around in your outfit to make it look a bit more different. And during the summer, switching around things since weathers are so hot, you can't really do too much. Or you can, but then you have to change the outfit fully. Anyways, let's just get on to another fit. Here's the next kind of core outfit. Uh, Uniqlo vest, Dries Van Noten black floral trousers, and I'm still using the same uh, ASAP Nast Reeboks, which I'll probably switch during this outfit. But as you can see, Really simple outfit, really good for the summers, super flowy pants, vests work perfectly, and just some comfortable shoes. And a bag you can use daily. This one's from Craig Green. It's the large fold bag, a perfect bag. Use this almost every day. Really can't say too much about the outfit. Something you can use daily. And just throwing on some different stuff can fully change the vibe of the outfit. And I'll change the shoes and throw something else on top. So here's another kind of alteration for the outfit. Make it look just slightly more put together, wearing the loafers and putting on the bandana as another accessory. And as you can see, the I stayed with the lilac socks, matches perfectly with the purple bandana. Just gives a little detail if anyone's, you know, paying a bit more attention, they can see that, you know, there was some thought in this outfit. <laughs> just switching two things, in my opinion, it looks fully different and I'll just keep switching things up and I'll show you what I come up with. So here we go. Just took the bandana off, switched the hat and threw on this uh, viscose shirt, a floral viscose shirt, a Scandinavian brand, I don't remember the name, in my opinion has a super nice cut super nice colors and perfect for the summer since it's very lightweight has these hints of brown hence why i threw this uh, rick owens tote bag to kind of match the colors and and since the pants have a floral print as well it isn't really that easily visible so it doesn't come out as a you know floral explosion sometimes that could happen if you mix two floral pattern patterns together Anyways, in this outfit, it doesn't go that way. I'll just switch things around now so y'all don't get bored. So here's a slightly more casual option. Still uh, stays slightly put together with the loafers, but throwing this hoodie on, it makes it more chill. You know, you can leave the house with only wearing the vest, take the hoodie with you, and when it gets too cold, if it gets too cold, throw the hoodie on. But this is a Dries Van Noten floral hoodie. You know, both our Dries work pretty good together in my opinion. But really not too much to say, just a different alteration for this outfit. But now I'm gonna switch the outfit and keep things moving. Here we have the next outfit, boots during the summer been loving that vibe this summer. Rick Owens clear sold tractor boots, Dior cummerbund jeans, fall winter 06. Bought these like five years ago. I was in high school. What a purchase, man. I gotta give myself that. Little me knew what was up. A Uniqlo tank top, again, my favorite thing during the summer. You'll probably see this throughout the video. I love vests. And then just a Rick Owens tote bag, the hat, Matthew M. Williams X Nike again, and these shades are Rick Owens. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't clarify the accessories in every fit. I tend to use the same ones, so, you know, at some point of the video, I'm gonna say them, so pay attention. Simple, you know, everyday fit has a slightly different vibe than the others since I'm wearing 
uh, black denim and boots. Pairing them up with the vest kind of breaks the black and breaks the kind of fall vibe of the black. Don't have too much to say about the fit. It's a simple, easy, everyday fit. Yeah, I'll just throw a hoodie on and show this, this fit with the hoodie. So if it gets cold, you know, throwing on this Rick Owens and Champion mountain hoodie with the tote bag. Kept this uh, hoodie opened. I think it has a nice detail since the zip is asymmetrical and it goes like this, you know. It's really not a summer vibe since it creates this kind of scarf in front. So it's really, really warm. But keeping it open has a nice little detail here. The silver hardware looks good. The black hoodie just works perfectly with the other black items. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna switch the shoes and do something different. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see soon. So basically the same outfit, just put an accessory on switch the shoes and otherwise it's pretty much the same i love wearing this bandana as a headwear as i've been saying i love headwear and kind of styling it differently i think it makes an outfit look really a lot better if you can pull it off so you can do multiple things with this bandana if you don't want to wear it like this you know you can just take it off and you know put it on your neck do something else with it but Basically, this is just another simple outfit. Stays black with the shoes, but since these are Darby's, forgot to mention, Dior, Darby's, spring, summer 15, Raph Simmons era, has staples all over them. Just some cool Darby's. I'll just switch the outfit again, and let's see where we're gonna go from there. Here we go with the outfit with shorts. Wearing the same undercover tee as in the first fit, I think. The yellow goes perfectly with the yellow shorts. I don't own shorts basically at all. I have like two or three, and these are my favorite ones. I tend to use these all the time. Uh, these are Patagonia shorts. Uh, I don't even have anything yellow, but these are yellow. Bought these like over a year ago, and I just like the fit. And since I don't have anything yellow, during the summertime, it's kind of fun to style other colors that you don't normally wear then uniqlo socks these kind of knitted socks and then doc martens loafers for you skinny leg fellas out there if you want to wear shorts with loafers or i think shorts even in general use higher socks it kind of you know it doesn't make the small ankles look that bad you know as you can see it's kind of puffy now and yeah i just think it Works for my legs pretty good, wearing a more fatter sock. This is also an everyday outfit. Uh, still has some unique touches to it. And then I can just, you know, throw this Issy Blazer on again. Works perfectly, makes it look a slightly more put together. Uh, I took a fit pick like two or three days ago of this same outfit with just different accessories so I can post some pics here. So you can kind of see different variations of this outfit just with some little tweaks. Makes it look slightly different. Anyways, I'm gonna change the outfit since, since I'm posting the versions of this outfit styled differently. So let's keep it moving. So here we go with the next fit. Wearing my Rick boots again. Uh, Rick Owens dark shadow drop crotch trousers and this Acne Studios vest that I also got from the archive sale. Since it has this long cut, it works, you know, perfectly with the drop crotch trousers. And I've been wanting a Rick vest also for a long time. They also have this kind of long cut as Rick garments usually do. And this knit has it also, so it kinda gives the, you know, the little Rick touch. It works really good with the uh, Rick trousers. Another simple fit you can use basically on the daily. I can switch the shoes up so you can see how it looks without boots. So yeah, threw on my Doc Martens loafers. Love these Rick pants with the Martens loafers. Uh, I just give them a little cuff at the bottom as you can see to just, you know, show the sock ever so slightly. I think it breaks it down nicely and the sock I'm wearing is the same Uniqlo knit sock. If anyone's paying attention to the detail, the knit sock kind of complements 
uh, the knit itself with the texture. Anyways, just slight change of the bottom proportion of the outfit and it changes the vibe. I think we'll still keep it going. I'll pull out a few more fits. Let's just keep it moving. So here's the next outfit. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't ironed the shirt. Looks probably quite shitty, but it's this Jacques Mousse uh, shirt. Has a perfect cut. Slightly oversized as you can see, like it's a baggy cut. Then I'm wearing my Alix tactical pants and my Louis Vuitton trainers. Then obviously the accessories. I just think this is kind of my take on a slightly more, you know, put together casual outfit. Still has the cargo element and then it has the kind of safari hat element. And then, you know, the shirt kind of makes it look slightly more put together. And then the shoes just are comfortable. And, you know, I've been using boots and black shoes with all these outfits since I normally do. I basically always wear black leather shoes. Haven't worn these in a pretty long time, actually. But anyways, this is just a chill look. Anyways, I'm just gonna switch the outfit to the next one, but I'll wear a shirt. So basically, it would be my alteration on the shirt fit. Going all Rick. This is a Rick office shirt. The material is Cupro, so it basically looks like silk. Uh, has slightly a longer fit as Rick garments usually do. And then dark shadow drop crotch trousers and the tractor sole boots. Even with this fit, you can change a few things, but I wanted to go full Rick. In my opinion, it's a nice black outfit. Rick always has his own aesthetic to his clothes. So when you go all black and you go all Rick, usually it looks nice. And you can also kind of change the fit by putting the trousers at the back here, not letting it puddle on the shoes. So it makes it look slightly, you know, more cargo-esque, maybe, you know, more shooter vibes. Just the all black, all Rick outfit. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm not even sure how many outfits I ended up filming, but I just tried to come up with some fits on the spot. Just some casual summer outfits. Nothing too extraordinary daily rotation type outfits. But I'll be doing a lot of these outfit videos since I tend to use very different type of outfits. You know, I can go really casual and some of my outfit can kind of go pretty out there if that makes any sense. I don't have too much to say for this video. I'm starting to film a new vlog today. So that'll come out in like a week, probably a bit over. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the continuous support, it means the world to me, and I'll see you guys really soon.